It began as a deli and gourmet food shop in Vinings, started by a couple of buddies in the restaurant business. Word soon spread of the unbelievable sandwiches. I was partial to the gobbler. Well, mix in a full service bistro, incredible brunches, and the coolest underground bar in Atlanta. Now, you got a classic. Let's hang at Muss and Turner's. Really, we tend to kind of focus on a lot of regional cooking, but we have influences from all around the world. We may do a curry, but we're gonna use shrimp from the coast of Georgia. We're gonna use hydroponic greens from a farm a half an hour away from here. So we don't really have any kind of culinary limits to what we do. So tell me uh, how important the fresh ingredients is at a place that you go, all the organic fresh ingredients, all this stuff. I think it's very important, and I like that they go to local farmers to try and get their sources. The inspiration is really what is best and what's in season right then. We may get a call one day just, hey, I've got these rabbits from a farm a half an hour away from here. Are you interested? Yeah, so we'll, we'll take it in and figure out what we're gonna do, or we might go to the farmer's market across the street and just see what's what's best and fresh and, and looking good that day and build everything from there. We're gonna make our rabbit riette. This is one of the dishes I'm really excited about. We got these rabbits from a farm about an hour south of Atlanta. We'll start with a little bit of violet mustard crema. We've got a little bit of roasted grapes. We've got some nice green olives. Olives and rabbits are kind of best friends. Then we've got some nice baby greens, a little bit of mustard oil. It's gonna give it a little bit of a kick. Take some of these greens, place them around the plate. A lot of flavor there. Amazing sandwiches, great fresh ingredients. I mean, you just walk in the place, smells. Big time. I mean, and they put pork on pork. How can that be bad? They're doing. A, are you doing a pork on pork right here? Yes, I am. Pork on pork crime. Pork on pork crime. Wow. Tell and me. I do it again. <laughs> That's what I love about it. <laughs> Swifty's dream is our uh, homage to Jay Swift from Fourth and Swift downtown. He's a longtime friend of the owners in the restaurant and all of us. It's basically a barbecue sandwich that we up the ante on. Uh, we get our barbecue or our pork shoulder from Riverview Farms up in Ranger, Georgia, and we cook it in house, serve it with some Carolina-style barbecue and horseradish slaw, and just because you can never have enough, we add bacon on top of that as well. Serve it on a Holman and Finch bun. It's just a, a delicious thing. And this is the Swifties' dream. You can pick your pickle here. We've got four pickles any day. Uh, every now and then, we'll throw an additional one on here. Oh, we found this at the farmer's market. Let's make it into a pickle. The compliment I probably hear the most is, I've had that before, but never like that. I think that what that secret ingredient is, is, is often the passion that's put into the food. When we come back, I head to the kitchen with Chef Damerin to see what's cooking on the big green egg at Muss and Turner's. Atlanta Eats is back. And we're here with Chef Damerin at Muss and Turner's. Thanks for having me back here. Thank you for coming, I appreciate it. What are we cooking? What are you making? Tonight we're gonna have a wild striped bass grilled on a big green egg with some Sea Island red peas and wild rice. Wow, fresh, fresh ingredients. Yes sir, everything's fresh. Which is what you're known for, right? It is. How often do you change the menu, by the way? We change the menu every four weeks for our entrees and our small plates just whenever we feel like changing them. Big green egg, we're gonna cook it all right? Yes sir, we cook the bass on the big green egg and we're gonna saute up the set for you. What do you guys love about the egg so much? Because this is like egg central, I've heard. Uh, the big green egg just, you. It it's so versatile. You can use it as a smoker, you can use it as a grill, you can use it to slow cook things, fast cook things. When I eat those burgers at lunchtime, is that off the egg? That is, every one of them is off the egg. Wow. So this is just kind of like the uh, sauce that's going to be coming with it, right? So we mount the wine that's reduced with a little bit of butter, and that's going to make it nice and creamy for us. All right, so we got a little creamy base. The sauce brings all the flavors together, and then we're ready for the big fish. Are we yep. getting close? We are ready. And here comes that bass right off the egg, which by the way, I've never seen an egg in the kitchen the way they do it in Muscle Turns. You know what they call me? A sampler. My guy, Crazy Damon, rocking it at Muscle Turners. A little more bass for me. Talk about how that dish was. Describe it for you. Oh, God, it was excellent. The, uh, the bass was crisp on the outside, tender on the inside, fresh. How about those collard greens? Does that work for you? It does, actually. I didn't know it came with collards. I don't normally order them. 
but these were outstanding. And I love the hidden gem in the back. Um, oh, that bar. Yeah. Eleanor? Yep. We opened our new Speakeasy April of last year. It was sort of a, a playground for the owners. They wanted a place where they could come after work and just sit and relax, and it was kind of theirs. But they wanted it to kind of be fun. We named it Eleanor's uh, in honor of Eleanor Seal. She's our controller for Mustn Turners and Local 3. We never advertise for it. It's all word of mouth. The door most people walk up to when we lead them in there and stop and hesitate like, I'm not going in there. And then you walk around a nice hallway, pass a bunch of bottles of wine, come around a corner, and it's a whole different element that you would have never suspected is there. Kind of your little world tucked away from everywhere else where you can forget about everything else and you're just kind of hanging out with the people around and enjoying some cocktails or ordering some food and, and just kind of let time slip away. We can always expect something a little different and outstanding. We've never left with something we didn't like.